peace and love and solidarity upon your journey. This is the video in which I will be speaking upon the, as far as the tangible solutions for us as Africans that's located here uh, in the Western Hemisphere. I hear a lot of people speaking upon we need to build our black businesses. We need to, uh, you know, generate the black dollar, or should I say circulate the black dollar. But first, it, we must really have the self-knowledge and we must have self-balance and self-peace upon the things within our spirit also in our mind also within our soul i would say because there's no way impossible uh you can actually unify with someone if you're not in your right state of mind nor in your right state of spirit because if you're still holding on something within the past you can regurgitate off of something in the past and you can actually say something that's detrimental to you also to the person that also love you so that's why i say that we must create that uh peace uh, balance and also uh, having proper knowledge of self and then we must create uh, conferences and meetings to actually uh, understand and have knowledge on the problem and lay that out on a forefront you know, on the table you can say and uh, um, have an understanding from it and then we can speak upon the solutions on what we can replace that uh, that uh, the problem is with and then we can actually move forward from there you get what I'm saying? And uh, what made the Pan-Africanism uh, conferences uh, pretty interesting, in which I would say, uh, with Kwame Nkrumah and W. E. Du Bois and uh, George Padmore and, you know, a few other, other Pan-Africanism, uh, excuse me, Pan-Africanists, is that uh, they strategized as far as the knowledge in which they had upon the problem and everything. They understood the problem, but the problem was more internationally, it was not you know, locally, that's within the black community it was on an international scale. So also, I would add that we must strategize about the problems and uh, create solutions for them on an international level. You know, the apartheid system, segregation, uh, you know, that's still located here uh, in the globe. And you have uh, also, you got slave labor, you got many other things uh, that's within, you know, the globe and everything. So we must strategize on an international scale so we actually could change the reality, not only for us, I would say, but most importantly for the uh, generation that's after us, which is the uh, 22nd uh, century generation, the youth, uh, you can say. And uh, also, I would state that we must actually um, build our laundry mats, our factories, and everything. We must all come together with a thousand dollars. Ten of us come together with a thousand dollars and create a business and everything. You know, and then uh, after we create that business and everything, we sell healthy products. So it could be pertaining to your hair, it could be pertaining to your skin, it could be pertaining to anything as far as uh, physical health or mental health or spiritual health, whatever the case may be. Uh, those products will always add value uh, to inner or external being, uh, the existence of yourself. You know, so that's just something in which I. Um, I, I would say in which we need to actually uh, think about also I would say that we must as Africans we must stay underneath one code at all times when it comes down to white supremacy if you understand white supremacy you understand that they always stay on one code they might lose a few of their uh, of their um, people that's with them within the white supremacy structure but they always stay underneath one code like for example they always have a chess move mentality if you look at the 99 uh excuse me 1992 um la riots you look at uh rodney king and uh what started was that was the rodney king situation and uh how you know he was brutalized by the police officers on the camera and everything and uh if you had uh, brothers and sisters out of emotions they were burning down you know their own corner stores burning down their businesses and burning down anything uh little economic uh, in which they had at the time period but uh what they did the white supremacists is that they made sure they look weak and make sure they look vulnerable in nature of things and let uh the the opposite squad or opposite team should i say uh made them uh be emotionally uh dried out make sure they utilize all their energy due to uh facing things based upon how they feel based upon emotion and uh once they um they let the time, you know, uh, seize out, you can say. That's when they rose and started flicking their power. So it's all about having a futuristic mentality when you're coming against white supremacy. And we also, I would say, just to add on, is that we must study military science, I would say. We must understand military science, I would say, as far as just the uh, the fact of uh, the terrorism, which they play on TV, the 1995 Oklahoma uh, bombing 
or you can look at the 1921 um, Tulsa, Oklahoma City bombing of that, the concept of a terrorism and the concept of repetition among the psychological brain leave us in fear, and that's a part of the military science, I would say. And uh, so I, I would des definitely, excuse me, highly suggest um, all brothers and sisters uh, tap in and understand the military science and understand the white supremacy, understand that we must have a, a, a chess movement mindset, as Brother uh, Chase McGee uh, stated in his book, Voice of the Answers, Volume 1. And I also highly recommend um, all brothers and sisters tap in with that book. Because that book is very important. That book is very empowering. If you want to understand your history, the history that you haven't been taught in the white educational institution as far as middle school, elementary school, or high school, or even college, I would say, uh, for most people, or a lot of people, I should say, get that book. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, the brother, uh, Instagram name is at the voice of the ancestors. Again, if you're not familiar with that brother, Instagram name is voice of the ancestors. Peace, love, and solidarity upon your journey. Thank you for your time and your energy. Peace.